This is Byron Lazine and Nicole White, and you are tuned into episode 251 of The Real Word. Word is up. The season of buying is upon us, Nicole. And I'm yeah. not talking about your holiday wish list. I'm oh talking God. about I'm hemorrhaging cash right now, Byron. Hemorrhaging. Are you really? How much have you spent? I don't even want to know. And then my husband makes fun of me because I don't want to spend any more. And he's like, come on. The kid needs a jersey. I'm like, a jersey? Like a freaking Giants? He doesn't need a Giants jersey. Yeah, not not after that last uh, Oh, my God. The Giants? The Eagles, Horrible. Sure. Yeah, that was you pathetic. Don't yeah. need to support them. Burn those. Yeah. Well, if you, if you want to get your money right, Nicole, tomorrow we're doing a webinar at 3 o'clock, a BAM exclusive to get your money right, to get it right yeah. and to get it tight. So, hmm. but, but no, that's not what I'm talking about. No, I know. Uh, the, the buying season in real estate, in a down market, you're going to see some of uh, we're already seeing a shakeup with CEOs and executives and a whole bunch of companies. We talked about that. And you're also going to see some of these big companies that do have cash go out and buy other companies. Zillow is still one of them. So racket number one, Zillow Group acquires VRX Media. This is going to live under the Showing Time Plus platform. Nicole, you and I talked about Showing Time Plus. This is, mm-hmm. this is Zillow's Netflix, right? For agent products. They're rolling up dot loop under the showing time plus amongst other products. We talked about that in a previous real word and you could check that out if you're interested, if you don't know about that news. So why this purchase and what does VRX media do? Uh, They've got aerial drone photography, virtual staging, 3d tours, high definition photos, and fast delivery. 3d tours Side note, Rich Barton said at the beginning of this year at the Swanapol Summit T three sixties event, where you just have yeah. all the uh, all the CEOs giving yeah. their year, you know annual State of the Union address basically to each other. He said Zillow is very passionate. They're all in on three D tours. He believes every single listing should have a three D tour. I've said for years before Rich Barton said this that every listing should obviously have professional photog- photography. That's a standard. Uh, but should also have at least bare minimum a floor plan. Still today, you, you see so many listings without a floor plan, but this or is all people about- people are inter- still using their cell phones. They think that houses are selling so quickly that cell phones are still okay. No, well, let's get real here. That is, is that a meme, Nicole? <laughs> Did you just try to do a, a live meme? A live meme? A, a podcast li- meme, cell phone photos. I mean, that's just- disgraceful <laughs> for somebody who, who's hiring you. But but these interactive floor plans is, I think, a lot to do with this VRX media purchase. Zillow mm-hmm. didn't come out and say that that's what it is, but that's my belief just off of the things that Zillow execs have said and the direction they're heading. 70% of sellers um, have, have said it when polled that they would work with an agent if there was a virtual tour and a an interactive floor plan. So mm-hmm. sellers like these features and 70 70- Of course they want everything. Well, sellers want everything. Of course and they and some sellers deserve everything, but I think they bare all minimum deserve everything. showing a floor plan in, in a professional manner, you know, you should do that on every single listing. 70% of sellers Nicole whose listings included a virtual tour were more likely to receive an all cash offer. Okay, so Zillow's aim with this acquisition is to help the showing time uh, plus platform realize its vision of providing top level listing products and services to help agents stand out and provide exceptional shopping and selling experience to their clients, setting a higher standard for the industry. They they obviously want this showing time plus platform, like we've talked about in the past, to be the go-to place for agents to you know, get their monthly subscriptions and agents spend a ton of money on these products. They you know, uh, Zillow wants them to do that there. Uh, Showing Time Plus is going to provide these premium marketing products, and it's scheduled for the release, Nicole, in 2023, Listing Media Services and Listing Showcase, living under this Showtime Plus uh, platform. Brad on over on Inman, this is a BAM article that we've been quoting. We'll link that below. We'll also link this Inman art- article that Brad wrote uh, titled Zillow's VRX Acquisition Reveals Why the Portal Can't Be Dismissed, Never underestimate Zillow. Uh, Brad, you, you and I are aligned here, brother. I mean, I, I've i been saying this over and over and over again, and people, they think because they failed on, you know, I flipping buying. homes on yeah. the iBuyer thing that up, up, They're Zillow's out. a failure. That means because they <laughs> failed on one segment of their business, 
and that's just proven over and over and over again not to be the case. Zillow's got more money than everybody besides like CoStar, you know, at their disposal. Founders Rich Barton and, and Lloyd Frank are calculating, bold, cunning, and opportunistic. They also play the long game well. Uh, they're at it again. And, and obviously, when I reference at the top of the show, this is the season of buying. That's what Zillow's licking their chops for 2023. They're going to go out and buy companies that they can fold up under uh, the Zillow umbrella. And they're making a clear new pivot here. They're they're leaning into agents, which is what we said a year ago when they uh, closed down iBuyer. Nicole, just on the VRX media purchase, mm-hmm. yeah, you know you, you care a lot about how listings are presented. As many great agents, hit the thumbs up if you also care how your listings are presented. Mm-hmm. What does this mean for agents? The acquisition of the VRX media for Zillow. So I, I, again, I, 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 I'm, I'm a, I mean, I'm, I can't say that I'm a huge Zillow supporter, but I do love every time they make these moves. Cause I think it, I think it sparks a little fire under some people's asses to really sort of get themselves going. You know, they they obviously saw an opportunity, they seized the opportunity, but now again, if anything, it's sparking conversations. What are they doing? What are they now offering? But at, at the same time, I think it's, I think it's a great service to offer agents because think about it. I know you don't necessarily look at the group emails, but the amount of times that agents are still trying to sure like that. look for these. No, I mean like on the, on like the, I see everything Nicole. On, on the, on the real estate broker side okay. as a, that side, okay. you know, the reply onlys and yeah, there, yeah. there are a lot of agents that are still looking for contacts for aerials and still looking for, so sure. there is, there's a huge opening here for them to slide in and be super convenient. So convenient. Um, and because they have scale, because yeah, they're going across absolutely. the country, can, can they, you know, compete on pricing? They yeah. probably can. It's, you know, it's been hard for in the residential space for a national player. Like I think, you know, national player in the photography space, first name that comes to mind is Planomatic. Planomatic. Of course. You know, I feel like they were the first mover, you know, basically a decade ago. Um, well, and again, what, what, what's so, and I don't mean to interrupt you, but what's so interesting there is that Planomatic, I feel like spearheaded this, this incredible sort of side of the industry where mm-hmm. now there are mom and pop local shops that are now following in Planomatic's footsteps. So it, it, again, it's it, it true. Sort of catapulted My- others to start having to be a little bit more aggressive with their marketing as well, or what they're at least offering in their um, and their packages. That's true. And, and VRX media has something similar, uh, you know, this national, you know, photographer, they're probably independent contractors. I know that, yeah. that, that was the model with, with Planomatic, Planomatic but Planomatic yep. shifted away from the res. They still do it, but they went big into the institutional, uh, buyers and, and some of the, you know, where they can go get, you know, a thousand deal, you know, photography shoots at one time. And, and they're really cleaning up that space. Not to say that they're out of, you know, this space. I don't. I don't think they would have been a company interested in selling. But it, it is my, my point about this. It'll be interesting to see how this works out for Zillow because it is difficult to manage that many 1099 photographers across the country, and, and a lot of them do end up, to your point, deciding to open up something local. They start meeting all the agents. They say, "Okay, I can do this. I, I can go." create my own business. And I mean, then I think up... we've tried to steal a few planomatic photographers for ourselves. No, we too. haven't. Uh, Corey, if you're listening to that, I've never tried to, I've never, that, that is false, Nicole. That you may be, but that not me. False. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, all the peeps over at Planet. But of yeah, course. Uh, this, this will be for those smaller companies in each market. This is going to be an interesting, you know, competitive advantage for Zillow because of the access that they have through showing time. Uh, to all of these agents and and can they cut costs to your point, Nicole, there's people, there's agents that are still emailing the office asking for, you know, tips on where to get drone photography and aerial pho- and, and regular photography and 3d tours because they take a listing once a quarter, right? It's not something right. that they regularly do like you and I and our team, which is listing properties every single week, they do it infrequently. And so they are going to go, you know, and say, Hey, where can I get the best cost right now. It's my only listing I have. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and and Zillow right now might be in position to capitalize on all of those infrequent listers because we know there's a whole heck of a lot of those. For it sure. happens every single year in real estate. For sure. 
Uh, racket, I don't think so. I, I think what's, I think what would what would be a racket on this, Nicole, is if you disagree with what Brad Inman said and you're underestimating Zillow and their ability to go out in 2023 and consolidate the business even more and scoop up some of these companies that are that are looking to be bought. All right, racket number two. Realtor.com just came out with 2023 predictions for the housing market. Uh, and we're going to go through. So in the comments, I'd love to hear your opinion on what will be the hottest housing market in 2023. We're going to run down Realtor.com's list. These are their predictions based off of their study. And we'll go over each market, which is forecasted to see growth. And I'd love in the comments your predictions for markets that will actually see growth in 2023. We know real estate's a local game, mm -hmm. Nicole, and yep. some markets are going to grow while others may decline. We're seeing some of the major you know, cities like a Phoenix that is declining right now. The, these cities, these towns, small cities, whatever you want to call them, that Realtor.com has identified are not big major cities. We're going to run down the list in, in just a second. But uh, they're projecting home growth in all of these uh, cities. Realtor.com's top 10 markets, homes, home sales are forecasted to grow by 5.2% year over year in 2022, and home prices are expected to increase by 7.3%. Uh, compare this to data across the U.S., which forecasts a 14.1% decline in home sales, that's closings, yep. and a 5.4% increase in home prices. There, there's a whole bunch of forecasters that would dispute that number and say, prices are actually going to decline. Uh, but here we go. Let's get into the list. Ranked in order, realtor.com. Ranked in order, Nicole. This is order, gonna bring, I love it. This is going to bring, you know, butterflies and music to your ears here, this number one. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know that I don't know that Connecticut's ever been number one in anything before. So but ranked in order. <laughs> top 10 housing markets are number one, Hartford dash West Hartford at all. So I guess they're mm -hmm. saying all of Hartford. Yeah, well, I, I and they're saying West Hartford. I don't know if that includes East Hartford, but um, at all would assume that it means East Hartford too. They're, but they're referencing affordability here. This is a BAM article. We'll link it up. They're referencing affordability. You and I know, you know, there's certain pockets of Hartford that you could consider really affordable right now against mm -hmm. the national median average. But yep. West Hartford might not be one of them. Not all of them. All right, but so there are some areas 20, in West Hartford. Twenty three home sales change point six point five percent. So they're they're saying more sales in twenty three for. Uh, Hartford, West, West Hartford. Hartford yep. uh, good, you know, good thing we've made some investments there, Nicole. Good thing. Uh, forecasted 2023 home price change, uh, eight and a half percent. Okay, so the other uh, on the list, El Paso, Texas. Uh, if you're from Texas, love to know in the comments. Do you agree with El Paso, Louisville, et al., Kentucky? Okay, um, so I guess the surrounding area of Louisville, number three, uh, Worcester, Mass. A lot of people would read that Worcester. It's Worcester. It's Worcester, Nicole. A little yep. fun fact for the kids out there in the West and the South. When you see W-R-O-R-C-E-S-T-E-R, -E -E Mass, that's Worcester. Okay? They're coming in at uh, number four, Buffalo. You want to you you pronounce the next part? No, after no, no. Buffalo? Please, I, I, I leave that always to you. Cheek Tawaga. There it is. Okay. So Buffalo, New York area, number five, Augusta County in Georgia, little Masters tournament area. If you're a golf fan, you know what I'm saying? Green Jacket, uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Columbia, South Carolina. These are not enormous cities. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Shout out to the Edrington team down there. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, and then Toledo, Ohio. Toledo, Ohio. Just came to. Have you ever heard of Toledo, Ohio? I have heard of Toledo. Yes. Just came on my radar this past week. Uh, Dave what Portnoy. Happened? Yeah. One bite pizza review. He Did went a, over to Toledo. My dad sent it to me for some reason. Huh. Every once in a while, my dad will send me a random Facebook message. Interesting. It's my like, my most. I think most parents do. My my parents <laughs> do too. It's so. And out I of feel the bad because I never. I if every time I look, I I've never responded to any of them, yeah, but they like still think that it's a necessary uh, communication place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just sends me this random pizza review from. He loves the pizza reviews from from Dave Portnoy, Barstool yep. Sports, obviously, and and Portnoy was in Toledo, Ohio, college yeah. town. He says best college pizza of all time. A little fun fact about to, best college town pizza. So your father, place. what does your father want you to do with that? Just know he that just if you're ever in Toledo. 
I, my dad's like the biggest pizza fan of all time. I, I don't mm. understand it. He lives in the that. wrong place for. He definitely for good lives pizza. in the wrong place. You know, so I should I should ship some, ship some down to him. So there's a complete list of the top 100 markets. We've got that linked up in the BAM article. All I thought what was interesting, Realtor.com is predicting that these smaller cities, you know, these sub city, not the big huge They're cities huge, in each state. Yeah, the smaller cities are going to be the ones that have the growth in 2023. Love to know your thoughts. If you agree, uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, Nicole, let's get into our left, middle, left, right, middle right headlines. What do we got? Your, the headlines in politics, real estate, entrepreneurs yeah, and agents need to know. Headlines, you need to know. Headlines. All need right. Uh, CNBC: Ten-year Treasury yields drops below three and a half percent after inflation reading comes in lighter than expected. Yeah, just today this uh, CPI came out, and when this happened one month ago, Nicole, uh, November tenth of this year. Okay, we we saw the ten-year drop. We saw that inflation ease. Just this is just one month ago, so we can just reference what happened a month ago. Uh, we saw that the mortgage rate, the thirty-year fixed average rate, went from seven point two two to six point six two percent. It matched a record drop for a one-day decrease since the start of pandemic. Okay, now we're we're about six and a half percent, depending on where you look. I looked on Google this morning; it was about six point four percent mortgage rate. I talked to a lender who is, you know, depending on credit, depending on bank, depending on state, blah, 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 blah. You know, it depends on where you lock in. Uh, but he was locking people in into those, you know, those lower fours. If we see the same thing off of this news, the 10 year yield dropping below three and a half percent after inflation reading comes in later than expected, we see the same thing that we saw inflation easing a month ago, we could perhaps get down into the high fives on the mortgage rate in the last three weeks of the year, Nicole. How's that make you feel? Buyers Ma coming out of the woodworks, yes or no? It makes me feel happy. Yeah. I mean, this I mean, we again we were we were talking about it with the team though, too. I mean, contracts are down. So if this helps spark some some frenzy before the new year, I mean it's only gonna help everyone's first quarter for sure. I'm hearing far too many agents right now saying, next year I'm gonna do. Yeah. Next year I'm gonna start this. And they're forgetting about this week next week and the week after. There's three weeks left of the year. And if mortgage rates drop down into the high fives, I don't know what they're going to be in January, but I know that it's your duty, your obligation to go out and help some buyers who are in the market and say, hey, we are now in the fives on mortgage rates. These three weeks matter. They matter uh -huh. to your buyers because they don't know what it's going to be in January. There's too much volatility in this mortgage interest rate. We don't know what inflation is going to do in January. We know we're in a good spot potentially to close out the last three weeks of the year. Agents, you need to keep working. Your next year starts now. This is your next year right now, these three weeks. Get going on it and talk to some buyers about the good news that just fell into your lap once again here as inflation eases. What else do we got, Nicole? Uh, the next one is uh, from The Real Deal, Express News. Agents call out San Antonio's negative traits on YouTube. I predicted this. I first guessed it a while back when the midterms were over. I said, media company, you know, national media in particular is going to come after agents. Express News was the first to report this, then the real deal uh, picked it up. So they're, they're kind of bashing in on this agent in San Antonio who, who has a great San Antonio YouTube channel. It's, it's branded towards the city. He's talking all things um, San Antonio. In fact, th this came to my attention from Jeremy Knight, who, who does the same thing in Austin, Texas. This is Trey Serrano's channel. He leads the Cal uh, Calvary, Caval Cavalry. I think it's Calvary. Real estate Cavalry. Group. Okay. That um, right. so, so Real Deal Express News said that, hey, here's some videos such as 10 reasons why not to move to San Antonio, Texas. Top 10 reasons not to move to San Antonio, Texas. And 15 reasons not to move to San Antonio, Texas. The truth about living in San Antonio. He's racked up tens of thousands of views on these these negative headline, maybe not even negative. I don't think they're negative. I think they're truthful. I think they're, hey, here are the reasons why you shouldn't move to San Antonio if you're thinking about moving. Okay, so th they're calling it negative. Among the negative traits agents know about the city, which is one of the fastest growing uh, metros in the country, are the crime rate, hot summers, uh, prevalence of snakes, scorpions, and other wild animals, <laughs> uh, air traffic, and... Um, uh, or air quality, traffic, and, and tobacco laws. Okay, so 
the, the media, it, they're going to do this. They're going to attack agents because it's an easy target. I said this, I first guessed it a month ago. They want to attack you and the industry because they've got nothing else to attack. This is a way to attack this agent saying, hey, uh, he lives in San Antonio and he's saying negative things about the city. Nicole, if all he was doing was just putting out video after video about how great San Antonio is, then I believe these, these same media outlets would call him a homer. Of course. They're, they're never going to say anything good about you, the real estate agent, especially not in 2023 with where we are. So if he says nothing good, he's a homer. He, he, he's he's basically mailing it in for his city. It, you know, it's all fluff. And then now he keeps it real and, and they're calling him out. Listen, I, I, I think you want to bring to people's attention, hey, if you don't like these things about the city, this is the reality of, of San Antonio. This, this is what we're dealing with. This is this is my city. These are the things that are actually happening here in my state, in my town. And you should know that if you're thinking about moving here. Listen, right. would you agree, Nicole, the people that are going to move to a particular location are going to move there most of the times, no matter what, right? They have a need to move to this location, right? You can draw sure. some people in, but, but, but people yes. move to places they need to move to, right? Of course, 100%. So do you not gain and build more trust by being this authentic? One hundred. I mean, I think what you could do here, though, is maybe there is like a negative, but like here's how you counteract it so that when that negative happens, it's not as big of a surprise and you're like caught with your pants down. So, again, I think if there are some negatives, yeah, point them out. But then I, I think we're in a solution based business. Right. So, like, give them a solution to the problem, too. And Trey does that. And so that's where the media doesn't they, they don't dig in deep enough. They don't watch all these videos. They, they just want to reference them. Well, obviously, uh, you know, 10 reasons why not to move. To you're giving Antonio, them way Texas. too much credit. Yeah. In that video. <laughs> he does that right he, here's the flip side but it's right. a great listen he's a great youtube uh pr, you know pr, video producer certainly for the city of san antonio and he's getting people to click and he's educating and uh you know my hat my hat's off to what trey's Absolutely. doing there. all right the last one is cnbc twitter blue launches now costs 11 dollars per month if you subscribe from an iphone yeah and so this is you know people are talking about uh, obviously, the big news around this is is getting the check mark. So if if you get uh, approved on your Twitter Blue purchase, now up from eight bucks, which was originally thought going to be eight bucks, but Apple uh, with their costs, you know, now they're going to be charging eleven dollars from the iPhone. I, I guess it'll be less from an Android. I, I don't. Um, yeah, it's eight bucks for web users and eleven bucks for iOS users who, who purchase through the App Store. Uh, you know, you'll get the blue check mark if you get approved. Uh, companies are going to have a gold check mark. You're already seeing on Twitter feed now. Companies have this gold check mark, and then if you're a government agency, you'll have this gray check mark. Okay, uh, if, you, if you're thinking about getting this uh, Twitter Blue service as an agent, know that you need to have your account up for more than 60 days. So it can't just be you can't start an account today, and you know it's got to be uh, an account with more than 60 days, and you have to have a verifiable phone number attached to your uh, Twitter account. So if you don't want your phone number attached, it's not, it's not going to work out for you, but you can go into Twitter now and do this. I love what's happening on Twitter lately. There's so much more conversation happening. I've always loved Twitter as a tool. I mean, I've, I loved it before Elon took over. I'm not like some mm -hmm. Elon uh, fanboy or anything like that. No? I, I've you always sure loved that? I've, It's the truest social media platform and, and for real time information, nothing ever beats you know, jumping on Twitter and, and getting a consensus of, you know, what people think and, and feedback. And if I'm an agent right now who uses Twitter at all, um, uses it to get information or re research, I might consider paying the 11 bucks. I will admit I, I did it last night, Nicole. And mm -hmm. so it's not an instant thing where you get the blue check mark because I did this last night. Yeah. And no, I got nothing. I've got nothing. They're yet. Still, they're still reviewing me. So they don't know who you are. They don't know who you are. Maybe they don't like what they see. I don't uh -oh. know, but I, I don't have it yet. So the review process is not instantaneous to, to actually get. They want to make sure you're not a bot. You're a real person. Nicole, will you be paying 11 bucks? Are you going to be jumping in? I will. I I don't even know that I have Twitter. I mean, I have something on my phone, but I'm never on Twitter. So I won't be spending $11 now. Some of the other features you I'll get. I'll rely you... on you. I feel like you're, you're, you're a good resource for me. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I guess you can follow me on Twitter at Byron Lazine if you feel the, if you feel the same way and or if you're Instagram, using Twitter. Instagram because I feel like sometimes you share some things on your stories from Twitter. I yeah, do. I mean you're my you're my resource. You're getting my Twitter stuff through Instagram. Then yes. some other people might be the same way, right? But yeah. But if you are using Twitter specifically, here are some of the other features you'll get with Twitter Blue. Uh, you'll be able to edit your tweet. Okay. Uh, you'll also have 1080p video uploads. Okay. So they're going to go longer video format on Twitter. And, you know, obviously Twitter Blue are going to be the first uh, people to benefit from that. Reader mode. And then obviously if your account's been reviewed and verified, you'll, you'll get that blue uh, check mark, which is going to populate you up to the top of uh, comments and, and those types of things. Okay. So uh, there you go. There, there's your Twitter news. There's all your news. All your news. Uh, for today. I or love the news just follow Byron Lazine and he'll be your news source. Great news day, Nicole, with... The, the inflation, I mean, you should be happy. We should be smiling. The next three weeks should be good for the agents who decide not to take it off and decide that next year starts now. I'm really big on that theme right now for agents. Next year starts now. Uh, Nicole? Yes? How are we finishing out the year, by the way? So let, let's let's go over this right now. What's your know, calendar are you, look like? Are you I, want, I want to make sure are you that the. Some gifts again? All the real word listeners, hey, if, if, you, if you're enjoying the show, let us know by by hitting the thumbs up below. Let us know by subscribing to the BAM YouTube channel. Okay. Um, are, are we gonna Are we gonna close out the year strong and and Next both week? both the last two weeks of December? Are we gonna take our own advice here and close out the year strong? We're we're gonna we're gonna continue with real word shows throughout the rest of the year, right? I mean, it's on my calendar already. Good. All right. Yeah. You're, you're locked in. Okay. Locked so in. There will be no interruptions in your real yeah, word. Yeah. The twentieth, it's on there. The twenty seventh, it's on there. I love it. I got, I, we got it. We also have a meeting scheduled for that day. I mean, we're busy right after Christmas. I mean, it doesn't stop here. Love where your head's at. If you're an agent who wants to have a successful <laughs> quarter one, you should do the same. Uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. And we'll see you next week. See you guys. Real.